Welcome back. Well, there are no stupid questions when it comes to politics, except for the ones that Anthony is about to ask. I still don't know who Robert Menzies is. You know, you can be forgiven for thinking there are three major parties in Australian politics right now. The Greens, uh, the Labor Party and the Coalition. Well, in fact, there are more than three. Coalition is a very misleading name. And to find out more, I've come here to Monash University to speak to my good friend, Dr. Zare Gazarian. Dr. Zare, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. Good to be with you, Anthony. So if you're new to politics, uh, you might, this might come as a surprise to you that the coalition is actually two parties. Yes, you're right. It's two separate parties. Liberal plus national gives us the coalition. So the National Party is actually the older party of the two, but it gets a much smaller representation in Parliament. So it's the junior coalition partner. The Liberal Party is the newer party. It's been around since the mid-1940s, and it is now a very strong political party in Australia. Are there any sort of areas in which those two parties are opposed from each other? The Liberal Party has a chunk of social conservative MPs, but also a lot of socially liberal um, or progressive MPs as well. The National Party, on the other hand, is much more conservative. The National Party is primarily concerned about representing rural and regional voters, and it is much more concerned with advancing a socially conservative agenda on a whole raft of things. So now that's on the right side of things. On the left side of things we have the Labor Party and the Greens. Could we ever see a coalition between those two parties? Anything is possible in politics. Labor is much more popular across the board, whereas the Greens are much more popular in pockets of the community. But for the moment, what we've got is the Labor Party, which is actually the oldest party in Australia. The Greens, on the other hand, are a much newer party. They've been about, around about 20, 25 years now. And they are much more socially progressive, but they are focused on inner metropolitan areas rather than broader Australian electorates. We're also seeing, because we've got the Liberal that, that go from the right and they, they come to the centre, We've got Labor that are at the left and they come to the centre, so there is that centre overlap. Could we ever see a coalition between the Liberal Party and the Labor Party? Usually you'd think not, but what happens is that because, as you point out, these parties converge in the centre and generally have a broad range of policies that are pretty much the same, we tend to have voters supporting the two major parties. Let's say, for argument's sake, that we had a coalition on the right and a coalition on the left, and those two coalitions made a coalition into one big party. I mean, that would be the best case scenario, wouldn't it? We, we wouldn't even have to vote anymore. Yeah, then you're going into a different realm of political system. You're really talking about a super coalition, which is really, really rare in what we are, a liberal democratic state. It's rare, but it, it's theoretically possible? Absolutely. Anything's possible. <laughs> 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 Dr. Zare, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you.